what started as a joke but people take it way too seriously today. Dogecoin I remember a Twitter post where someone asked the Dogecoin creator whether they thought about the environmental impact when creating this coin. He replied saying he took two hours to create the cryptocurrency and did not consider anything. Ha 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 ha. Love it. Reading this reminded me to check my app where I bought a few dollars worth of Dogecoin out of boredom. Its value has tripled in the last week lol. It's now worth tens of dollars. I honestly have half a mind to sell it all and finally buy Cyberpunk on Steam. Do it now before this Elon guy tweets again. Elon DeGeneres? I always prefer to use his full name, Elongated Muskrat. Flat Earth. Okay so I took an intro to philosophy class in college. This is circa 2001 so flat earth not a big thing yet. Well out professor says the earth is flat prove me wrong. So everyone is going through the normal ways to prove it. And seeing as this was the professor's lesson he had some, relatively speaking, decent arguments. By the end of class I was thinking that he might actually believe the earth is flat. But the lesson he was trying to give us was that all information we have came from someone else. NASA says there are satellites in orbit but we don't know that. And even the math necessary to prove it's possible was passed to you from another person. Point was he wanted to make sure everyone always had an awareness of where they were getting information from. Good sources first and foremost but even good info gets outdated so make sure it's still accurate. He then went on to list like 5 ways you can test in your backyard that the earth is round. So turns out he wasn't crazy. But I think about that class a lot. I worried that someone was trying to retell that lesson at Thanksgiving to their family. But they forgot how it was supposed to end. And accidentally got the flat earth shit moving. If I recall correctly, there was a website for flat earth but it was more of one of those don't believe everything you read on the internet kinds of sites. I believe that was the general start to the whole thing, people taking it seriously. I could be wrong though. I remember that it's a forum, I think it's called www.flatearth.org or something. The forum said that it was a debate training ground. The idea was, if you can defend such a ridiculous idea as saying that the earth is flat, then you can defend anything. Little did we know. Flat Earth Society, one of the big things I remember was the penguins with laser eyes defending the ice wall surrounding the flat earth from explorers. They have members all around the globe. Schrodinger's cat was formulated as a thought experiment to illustrate how odd quantum mechanics is, not that the cat is actually both alive and dead. Not just that, Schrodinger came up with it to demonstrate how absurd and ridiculous the idea was. It was just that his peers thought it actually demonstrated their ideas quite well and started using it as a layman's explanation. Schrodinger's cat lived long enough to become the villain. Or did it die a hero, for quantum physics? It is both the hero and the villain simultaneously until the box is opened and the wave function collapses. Scientology. Come on. He's a sci-fi writer and now a bunch of people believe they have mendichlorians or some shit in their blood making them do bad things. Wow. Not just a science fiction writer, but one who took a bet that he could start his own religion. Writing for a penny a word is ridiculous. If a man wanted to make a million dollars, the best way would be to start his own religion. L. Ron Hubbard edit, pennies. Turns out the original quote I heard a while ago was correct versus the one I copied when I was making sure I said it right. I think Theodore Sturgeon attended the diner where Hubbard said this. Then, years later, when Star Wars became an international phenomenon, Coppola said to his friend George Lucas that he could easily start his own religion based on the Force and the Jedi clergy and philosophy. But, Lucas of course was essentially inspired by Flash Gordon serials and Japanese samurai movies and made more money than he could dream of and was never a crazy narcissist like Hubbard. QAnon I just saw a meme that said QAnon is just trailer park Scientology. I laughed. I'm making this the mainstream definition. I second this. QAnon is trailer park Scientology. Celebrities becoming politicians. After all this, I never want to be told I need experience for a job ever again. Truck nuts. They were a joke at first. Now they are a point of pride on emotional support trucks. The whole Sigma, Beta, Alpha shit. 
Yep. Bugs the hell out of me every time I try to read a maths paper. This sin cause bullshit really be making me angry too. Wow, what a tangent. No nut November. School teachers telling us we won't have calculators in our pockets, some nerds took that as a challenge. I wonder what teachers say instead of that these days? We're up front that you're going to have a device that does the calculating for you, but you still need to know the math so you can figure out what problems to ask your phone to solve. We're not at the point where you can just tell Alexa to do everything for you, so you still need to know how and why things work so you can set up the automated part correctly. That science can't explain why bumblebees can fly. It literally started as a joke among scientists. Now some anti-scientific morons use it as an argument against science. Source, da.wikipedia.org edit, English version, n.wikipedia.org. I worked with a guy who literally used this as an argument for God against science. Which, regardless of your beliefs, is absolutely silly because I showed him multiple videos and articles telling how bees fly and he kept saying, yes, but we can't explain it. Bitch, they just did. Ten times. Listen. He forgot the most important part. We can't explain it so that he understands it. As the saying goes, I can explain it to you but I can't understand it for you. The OK symbol being a white supremacist sign. Immediately pissing off scuba divers everywhere. Wait is this a real thing? I've always been team since thumbs up means go up we have an issue they really stole that? Cause you're right, I was immediately pissed off. Those masculinity types, like Alpha, Omega and Sigma male, etc. Some people take this too seriously. People thought that's how wolves operate and just projected it onto humans. Turns out that wolves also don't do that. I think the best part of that whole thing is the fact that the guy who first thought that's how wolf packs worked is the same one who found out it's not how they work. The best part about science is disproving yourself I feel like. Science is almost never about proving something directly. At least reliable reputable science. Good scientists mostly don't design experiments to prove their theory in a direct straightforward way, they design any experiments that they can come up with that could disprove their theory. After you exhaust every single idea to disprove it and the idea still stands up to it, that's when you've essentially proven the concept officially. But yeah, you can never really objectively 100% prove something with science but you can disprove every way of disproving it which is essentially the same. This is why you shouldn't really give much weight to certain experiments where the scientists are doing nothing but look for evidence for their cause and ignoring counter evidence. Good science focuses on disproving. It's why we have shit like placebos and double blinds. To reese an upsetting amount of dubious studies that are agenda driven and corporatized. Being an edgelord whose entire personality trait is trolling and bullying other people. Ducking edgelords, man. I was definitely an edgelord at one point, but then I turned 15. Some people just never grow out of it. It's disappointing. I've got one person in mind specifically. We were good friends in high school and university. I even lived with him for a summer. His edgelordiness only got worse. Now has a trumper and just really not a fun person to hang out with. I hate it, because we used to be tight. But I just don't have the patience for that type of edgy, cynical, apathetic attitude anymore. Birds aren't real. You're not real, man. Found creed. Bobati. You were in the parking lot earlier, that's how I know you. Donald Trump running for president. Message is bad and vaccines cause autism. The Bechdel test. Not that the issue it raises shouldn't be taken seriously, but people totally misunderstand that it was only supposed to highlight how absurd it is that so many movies fail to reach the very low bar it sets. I've seen filmmakers brag at comic cons and the like now about how their movies pass the Bechdel test and it's seen as a female character representation stamp of approval when it really just means it reached a satirically low bare minimum threshold originally created by a cartoonist. Exactly, even Alison Bechdel herself has acknowledged that her own favorite movie fails the Bechdel test. It's not a commentary on quality but instead how we're socialized to think of women only in relation to men.